Like everyone else, I spend a lot of time on YouTube looking at uh, videos about music. And one thing I noticed, there are plenty of videos about rock music and plenty of videos of even about jazz. There are whole jazz channels that do nothing but that. But I noticed that in English, there's nothing that talks about Brazilian music in English. I mean, there are certainly a couple in Portuguese, but there are very few in English. And this is a particular musical interest of mine, and I feel like nobody's talking about it in English, so I may as well do it. And uh, over the last uh, couple, two decades, I've put together quite a bit of a, a Brazilian music library spanning several different genres and micro-genres and different styles. And, and uh, I talk about it a lot on Twitter, and I write about it in my Substack, Late Republic Nonsense. And I thought that I could start making these videos where I could talk about some of this uh, Brazilian music that seems to be um, you know, undiscovered for the English listener. So here we go. Uh, I want to do the first one on probably the guy who is the, the most important uh, modern composer of samba. And if you are first getting into Brazilian music, I very much encourage you to uh, look into Cartola, who was... Cartola made these records in his late 70s, or his 70s, in the 1970s. So this first record is 1974. And, uh, and it's beautiful. And uh, he was a famous samba composer who had written many, many famous songs. And uh, late in his life, I guess he was coerced into making a couple studio records and sort of becoming a, a, you know, a, a pop star or, uh, yeah, I guess not a pop star, but like a, a, um, a recording musician as well as a great composer. So he made this first album and it was received very well. It's produced in a very sparse, beautiful way. His voice is obviously, um, you know, very charismatic with age. His compositions are gorgeous. They're beautiful little gems, and uh, and they're, it's very much worth checking out. Uh, the next record he made two years later has the same name from 1976, but arguably it's the compositions are better on this record. The, uh, the left-right panning isn't as harsh, and uh, especially in mean, track two, track one, all of it throughout, it's all, it's all very, very beautiful, and it, and it kind of um, traces different samba forms in the singer-songwriter tradition, which may mean nothing to you, but as soon as you hear it, I think it'll click. Uh, the last record he made, which was, which was the third record, already he's, you can see that he's, uh, that he's very old and he would die, not long after these uh, these recordings, um, all his records got um, successively more involved arrangement-wise. So the production got better. He had more instruments playing. Um, this, I think, is a really beautiful record. It's a great introduction. Maybe number two is a, is a better introduction. It's available for streaming online. You just look for Cartola. Uh, I've got. A great record. The first one that I got, actually, that got me into Cartola is a um, is a compilation. It's a two LP set, I think, from uh, from the 80s, which is uh, which which collects some of his own personal recordings, as well as recordings of his songs performed by famous other uh, samba singers. So uh, I think Cartola is a great place to start this uh, Brazilian music series, and uh, I hope you subscribe and follow along with me.